Okay, hello everybody. Just straighten this out. I just realized that that's off center. Right there. Okay. So, anyways, um, so what I've done so far with y'all is we've cut these papers to size to this. We also did the book cover for it already. Um, yeah, and here's the, I didn't, I went ahead and folded these without you, uh, because that's time consuming, okay, and I didn't want to waste your time. So anyways, I went ahead and folded all these, we will put them in each other, we haven't got to that yet. Here's this, here's this signature over here, and I've still got these pages right here to still go, and I just thought I would continue to fold them with you with what's left to keep you from having to waste your time. And I'm just showing you how to put a book together to make yourself a journal. This is just the basics of making a journal. You can go from that. You know, you don't even have to use uh, decorative papers. You can actually use just plain white paper if you choose to. It's up to you. Now, those are done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get these all lined up and then take my bone folder and press them down. Let me put them on the flat surface. Flatten them down just like that. Okay. Okay, so here's our signatures. Now all I'm going to do is open them up, each one, put it in itself. Just like this. And this is how you make a signature. After you've picked out your paper, cut it down to the size that you need it to be within the walls of your book cover that you're using. Whatever book you're using, whatever, however book cover I mean. Uh, if you're using a book cover from an old book or new book, whatever kind of book, you can even use, what is that? You can use one of these little golden books to make a book cover out of. Just saying, you don't even have to leave it where you can see the pictures. That way you have a hard surface as your front cover and your back cover. But a lot of people actually turn these into journals. Just saying. Actually, I'm making one right now, you know, in the process of making a, a junk journal about that. But anyway, once you've gotten your cover chose and then you cover it like I showed you at the beginning, then you're going to go and, and pick out your paper be it plain paper, white paper, stripe paper, you know, like, I mean, line paper, I mean, not stripe, st line paper, or decorative like this, be it whatever. You get it cut down to the width you need it to be in your signature, okay? Not your signature, in your book cover. So, anyways, you want to try and stay within your walls uh, on the tops and the bottoms. You do not want it to overexceed because then it's going to stick out, and you don't want that. It looks so tacky. Um, but yeah, it, it, but if that's what you want, that's what you do. Do your thing. Do whatever it is you like doing. But once you get your papers to the width and everything, cut them, then you're going to fold them. And then this is the process we're at right now is tucking them within each other. Just like this. Speed it up a little bit more. If you buy a digital online, you can, that's the decorative paper. You can actually make your uh, signature have pretty little line, you know, like pretty little, like this is. That's kind of like a digital, but it's not. This is actually paper you can buy in the stationery departments and stuff of your local, you know, stores. Um, oh, I already have one out. I'd rather use that one. Okay. Yeah. And if you see, when I got these together, the fold here inside, there's like a, you know, from here to the inside center signature there, you have like a quarter of an inch in there. And it's pressing your paper outwards, okay? So it makes your papers you know, stick out here after you've cut it. That's okay. We can go back and cut that down. 
But for now, we've got all our papers together. We're going to clip them back together after getting them nice down inside each other. I'm going to use a skinny one on this one, a little bitty one on one side and the bigger one on the other side. You're just going to, you don't even have to use two if you think you can do it without two. And you just flip them down on each other. And that's your first signature ready to be, you know, marked. And then you also have to put holes in here unless you're going to do a floating spine. You can do that too. I'll show you what a floating spine is. First, we need to get these papers all in each other. Speed it up a little bit here. Uh, a floating spine, you take the, I think I already talked about that though. You just take your um, um, chipboard and you cut it to the size that you need it to be on the back part of your signature. Uh, both your signatures and then you mark it on that it's a floating and then you sew it to that okay and then you can glue it to it if you want to or do whatever you want to this one is a spine that's in it and then plaster down with some fabric and then there's another type of way of putting signatures in and I'm going to show you that here in a second you can sew them together the, the signature, just put your string through it if you want to so that it holds it down and all that good jazz. But you can also leave it loose. Of course, you'll have to cut it down because this one is, like I said, it's going to stick out a little bit. Just like that. But a, uh, there's another way, is you get these rubber bands. They're a special rubber band. They're really, really strong. I don't have any in here because I don't use those. But you can get these real thick rubber bands. And all you do is you take the rubber band and go through this and lasso it to this. Or you can put it on this here, two rubber bands. And then open your signature up to the center. And then you slide your signature in through like that, through the rubber band. And then the rubber band is in here. And it holds it in. That way you can always pull out that page if you mess up. Like if it's an art journal, you can take that page out put another piece in that's clean. And you'll always have a replacement page if that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense. I'm not going to do that. I am actually planning on making a, a uh, prayer journal out of this. There we go. I need to make sure it's down in there. If y'all hear anything, my neighbor, she has this man that works on her house. She's trying to get a, um, she's not trying, she's having a, uh, her uh, bathroom remodeled, I guess. Because it's gotten old and her mother's not in the best of health, so she made a really cool bathroom. She's making a really nice, cool bathroom for her mother to be able to use. Anyways, uh, so if you hear anything, that's the reason why I'm saying it is because uh, her worker, um, he comes by this window here and makes noises. <laughs> so does she. She gets on the phone and she'll walk past my window here. Even though there's, these are, this is our house. It's, here's my house. Here's hers. And here's her driveway. And here's between our houses. She'll stand right here, and my window that I'm at right now is about right here on the front of the house. So whenever she's standing here, you can hear her talking on her phone. I've tried telling her that, hey, you don't want anybody knowing what you're talking about, then don't be over here by my window. I'm just saying. Because people can hear you on my phone. Not my phone, but my uh, camera. Because my camera picks up sound pretty well, which I'm very happy about. Okay, so now I'm going to cut off these excess here. This little bit of room that's on here. So all I'm going to do is get this right up, butt it up against this. I'm going to try and get it level. That's what I need to do. Get this cornered. Corner. And then come down. Oh. 
I mean, it's right about there. Okay, so that's good. I want to get that lined up on this outside signature. And Yes, I know this is tearing into my top piece here. That's how come it's got all that. But whatever. I'm eventually going to flip this over anyways. Try to pull that on out of there. I don't know why it's not just cutting it. It keeps coming back down. That's what it is. Little cover keeps coming back down on it. Why is it doing that? Okay. Ah, what? <laughs> it's loosening too much. Still didn't do what I wanted it to do. I don't know why I'm having the issues that I am. Ugh. Anyways, move all this away. I have to be careful. My cat will actually eat that stuff. He eats hair too. I have long hair. When it gets on the floor, he finds it. I mean, while I'm sleeping, he'll climb up and he'll eat my hair. He's lacking something. I just don't know what it is. Yep, I did. I cut a little bit of that off. Oh. Let's beat this side. Still, let's go. Okay. That's better. Okay, that one's done. Now we do this one. Yeah, I know. Time consuming as can be. Let me tell you that. You better have patience when it comes to junk journaling because there's a lot of need of that. why it's not cutting it. it hurts my hands I got weak hands what can I say see it's cutting into this top signature page the thick one it's because my hands are not strong enough to hold the ruler and also press this down I'm trying to get it out of my way get it out of the way moving. <laughs> this is hard to do. What can I say? It's not the perfectest. Perfectest. Oh, it hurts my hands holding it down so hard. No, I'm not done yet. I still got a lot to cut. 
y'all see my coat i'm sorry i get cold i'm cold nature to have really bad circulation so it has nothing to do with that i'm chicken butt when it comes i love cold weather i think it's pretty but was it all saying you know when you when you go to a beautiful country that has a lot of snow or it's really really hot it's a beautiful place to to visit but i wouldn't want to live there <laughs> that's me i love the snow i think it's beautiful but i would never want to live where there's a lot of snow or a lot of heat i mean even though texas has a lot of heat though time because I keep forgetting to look at the dog. I don't know why it's not. Why are you not cutting it? See, it's digging into other ones. Why is it doing that? Okay, try, try to get on this side. Just don't want to cut it down so much that it's not going to fit in the journal and look right. Oh, see, it moved again. And I just got into the... I don't have anything sharp enough of it other than this. And this moves it because of the piece on the front here. You have to see me, I'm sitting here gritting my teeth. That's how you break your teeth, y'all. Just letting you know. And I mean that. I actually have fractures all in my teeth from gritting them when I... Not do just this. It's just anything I do. I tend to grit my teeth. Grit them. My mother used to grit her teeth when she slept. And her teeth would break. I decided to just do it this way. Sorry. Because it's cutting it. Every time I use that thing, it keeps cutting the paper the wrong way. Look at that. It's all frayed looking. <laughs> oh, my OCD is not going to like that. Okay. Let's take it off the desktop. Okay, that is done. Thank God. Oh, Ooh, thank you. And then I need to push that up, tighten it in so it doesn't fall open again. Okay, so now our signatures are ready to go into the cover. But the cover is not ready to receive them. But I'm going to show you how they'll look. In there. Ta da! See? They look really pretty. So, first of all, we have got to cut, not cut, but um, put hole punches in here to where we need them to be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up just like that so I know right where to be. And then I'm going to get a ruler out and we're going to go because we're going to put two signatures in so hang on a minute I'm going to go like this we definitely know we need to come down to here at least so I'm going to put these two closer together this is what I learned whenever I was learning how to make books you want these two to closer together that way if you get it out of you know cahoots uh, this when you mark it it'll be the same as this and this it'll let you know that it's the top but a lot of times what I was taught also is clip or put a put something where it'll let you know that that's the top so you don't get it confused. Um, and her name is Pam at the Paper Outpost. She's the one that gave that understanding to me. So let's see here. I'm going to go to the half mark. The one and a half. So I'm going to use my pencil. So first I need to go here like this. So it's a one inch. So I'm going to go I go here, 
and here. Here and here. Does that look okay? Yeah, it'll be okay. So now I need to estimate this one. So I'm going to say right here. And right there. Okay. So I'm going to take that one off. Erase that so I don't get confused with it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get I'm going to use one of my brown ones if I can find it. There we go. I would rather use brown on this because brown is closer to the color of it. So if, just in case it doesn't look so bad, you know. That's where our first holes will go. Now, that's one and a half. And I want to stay closer to this one. And this one will be further down. So there will be a bigger gap here. So this one I'm going to do. That's the half mark right there. So that's one and a half. So I'm going to count that as half to the two. So I'm going to go to the three. So I want to try and keep that lined up. If you have to, come right beside of it. Just like that. Sorry. I guess I should have done that with y'all. That's your half mark. Or that's your next, next one's mark. There we go. Right here. I want to take a look at it. Make sure it looks good. There we go. Now, down on the bottom, I need to keep this lined up with those so that I know that they're even. And then I'm going to go, this is the half, and this is the seven. I'm going to go seven and a half inches up, so that way, yeah, that's where I'm going to go, right there. So I'm going to come over, and I'm going to go to the six and a half, actually, it's not seven and a half. Six and a half. Put my hubby home. Seven and a half right here. So I'm going to go right there. Okay. So now, I'm going to hurry up and try and get this done for you so you can see what I have to do here. And then on the next video, we'll tie these in. Well, we've got to make the whole punches on these two. Okay, so um, this is a crocodile. Uh, they are very expensive. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, I saved up for this. That's why I got this. There's a three and one fourths, I do believe. I can't see it. It's upside down. No, I'm wrong. There is a one eighth and a three sixteenth. I use the three sixteenth. I can. There we go. Three sixteenth. That makes your hole. And there it is right there. Okay, you put that down. You might not be able to see it. Um, unfortunately, I can't bring it down for you to see. But I'm just going to line that up. Press. 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 So far, that's what we have. Press. And press. There we go. We have got that finished. Now, I might have enough time on here to show you how to do these as well. So, we have that done. And then, on the next video, what we'll do is we will um, put these in. So, on this one, I'm just going to finish this off by trying to get these marked. And I put them side by side, just like that. And I turn that sideways, and I put this against it. Well, actually, I don't want to go that way because I can't see. So, we're going to go against it. And I want to... Make sure that these are lined up right where I want them to be, giving them room on top and on bottom. Right about there. That's perfect. Now I'm going to get that brown marker again. You can use whatever marker you choose. And then I'm going to look where these are, those holes, right there and there and there. And I'm going to use the marker 
I'm just going to make a mark right where those are. And that's where I will put a hole punch. You want to look at your paper, make sure you're making the marks too. Because I've got a dark spot there on that one, so I have to make sure. Now, we're going to make the holes in these. Put this over here, out of the way. So I'm going to open these up, hold them tight so they don't come apart. And you're going to find your center of your signature. For this one, I'm not sure. Good. You're going to hold that and then you're going to put this on the top one like that. Okay? That way it holds it and it doesn't let it move. Same thing down here. Find your center signature. I know I'm kind of like being too detailed about this, making it more than what it is, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay. So we're going to lay that down. Now we're going to open this up. And we're going to fold it back just like that. Now, when I do that, I'm noticing that there's like a waterfall kind of look to it over here on this side. Where there's not, this side is flat. But once it's folded, they'll flatten back out. If that makes sense. But when you do your signatures... I'm going to show you what happened. So we're going to undo those. We've got to do that. Because <laughs> I need these to be lined up. So when I do the um, hole punch, that it works right. Okay. There. Now they're lined up. And this one I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to get this done before the timer is done. On the, on the uh, camera. Come on, thing. Get out of the way. There we go. So, I need to pull it back. Get it in line. Just like that. Holding it back in on itself. And then finding your things. Just like that. way you get it lined and this is the side you're going to punch through. I'm going to fold that back over on itself just like that. Okay. Now we have our marks. Let's get set and go. <laughs> there we go. Lay that down. And now And see, it'll be on your crease then. If I get cut off, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something from it. Um, give it a like. Give it a share. And hit the bell notification beside the subscribe button. Well, subscribe first, okay? Then hit the bell notification. That's what they'll look like once you get that done. And when we come back, I will start sewing them in. Again, um, hit that bell notification. It'll let you know when I'm making another video. When I'm finishing this out, you'll know. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Until next time.